Today we're going to be talking about putting fractions into simplest form. So a fraction is in simplest form when the numerator and denominator have been divided by their greatest common factor, which is the GCF in abbreviated terms. Um, the GCF, the greatest common factor, is something that we've already done, and so that skill will help you with um, creating simplest form. So let's say we want to find the simplest form of two fourths, okay? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is look for the factors of both two and four. So when I do that, I know that one times two, um, those are factors of two, and my factors of four are one times four and two times two. So now I'm gonna find the greatest common factor by circling the ones that they have in common. And I know that the greatest common factor is two. So that means I'm gonna take that greatest common factor and I'm gonna divide both the two and the four by two. When I do that, I get one half. So one half is two fourths in simplest terms or simplest form. This is also called reducing, so there's a couple different names for it. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say we want to find uh, the simplest form of 4 twelfths. I'm going to go ahead and find the greatest common factor of 4 and 12. So I list all of the factors and then I go ahead and find the ones that they have in common. And I have found that the greatest common factor is four. So I'm gonna take that greatest common factor and I'm gonna divide the numerator and denominator by four. So four divided by four is one, 12 divided by four is three, one third is um, the simplest form of four twelfths. Okay, I've reduced four twelfths to one third. It's the same terminology, or the same meaning, just different terminology. Um, also notice with this number, I can't divide one and three by any other common number. There's no more factors to, to divide and by. So that's another way I know that one third is in simplest form. Um, also notice that they're both prime numbers. Okay, so let's try another one. Let's try 10 fifteenths. So I'm going to go ahead and find the factors of both 10 and 15. And, you know, go ahead and find the common factors. My greatest common factor is 5. So I'm going to go ahead and divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5 and I get two thirds, and my number is in simplest form, okay? So now we're gonna do one a little bit differently. Let's say I have a number that looks like this, 12 thirtieths, and I wanna find the simplest form. I could go ahead and just do it this way and do it the way I've been doing it and find you know, the common factors and then find the greatest common factor. That's totally fine, if that works for you, that's great. But you can take a shortcut. And so the shortcut's just a little bit different than how we've been doing it. So when I look at 12 and 30, I see that they're both even, and I know that two can go into every single even number. So I'm gonna divide both 12 and 30 by two. And when I do that, I get 6 fifteenths. Well now when I look at that number, I know that three can go into both of those. So I keep dividing, and I get two fifths. At this point, I don't see any common factor that could go both into that could go into both two and five. So I'm done. Okay? It just so happens those are prime numbers too. It doesn't always work out that way with simplest form, but that also gives you another clue that you have reached simplest form. Um, I'm just gonna show you something else really quickly. Let's say you did want to do it this way. So I've got them all written out and I'm circling them. Okay, so the greatest common factor equals six. Now look at this. I divided the uh, 12 thirtieths by two in my first step. In my second step, I divided by three. When you do two times three, you get six. So basically this is a way that's just kind of a shortcut 
once you kind of understand what you're doing, um, and you'll eventually get to the answer. Um, it just kind of depends where you're at. If you need to write all these out right now and write down all the factors, that's fine. If you can think it in your head what some common factors are um, that both the uh, numerator and denominator have, and you kind of want to do it this way, that's fine too. It's kind of um, where you're at with math. I know for a lot of you, you might just have to write out all the factors, but some of you might be able to start dividing um, the fractions in your head and just keep going until you reach that simplest form, okay? So if you need to, you can rewatch this video and um, just to see how to do simplest form again. Or if you're ready to move on to the worksheet that I gave you in class, you can go ahead and do that. Good luck.